Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, I hope you had a great Happy New Year's Eve and Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I was just thinking about it and I realized that we haven't done a cooking video in a while. And so my mom and dad are coming over for lunch for New Year's Day with Becca and I tomorrow. And so I thought it'd be pretty cool to make a video showing us uh, how we're cooking a brisket. And so I got a smoker for Christmas this year. And so I thought it'd be cool to show us uh, trimming up the brisket, uh, putting it on to cook, and then the final product. And we'll see how it tastes. I hope it tastes good. So let's get started. All right, guys. So what we have here is a five and a half pounder point of the brisket. So briskets kind of have two parts to them. They have the point, which is what we have here, which is a fattier, richer area of the meat. It doesn't get used as much. And then you'll have what they call the flat. And the flat is a much leaner piece of meat. It has less fat running throughout it. And so what we want to do is we just want to come through here and uh, trim up any fat areas right here that we think aren't going to render out and won't be any good for the meat. So what we want to do, and this is where we're going to do most of our trimming is here on the back side. And so what we're looking for here is to get about a quarter inch of fat all the way around here on this back side. All right. Good. All right guys, so if you've ever cooked a brisket or trimmed a brisket or anything, you know about the deckle. And the deckle is just a thick band of fat you see right here, which runs on the uh, point part of the meat. And what we wanna do here is try and trim as much as, as we can out of that because that fat is so thick, it's not gonna render out no, how much, no matter how long it's on there to smoke. And if you do get it to render out, then you probably burnt the rest of your meat. So we're gonna try and take out as much of this deckle as we can while leaving a good amount of fat on the brisket. All right guys, we're gonna do something that's gonna get us in a lot of trouble with a lot of uh, Texas barbecue brisket purists. They believe that all you use is salt and pepper. And I can completely understand it, if you have a great piece of meat and you cook it well, that's really all you need, but I'm gonna go for just a little bit more flavor, and on ours, I'm gonna add some garlic powder. So, don't hate me, don't leave me in comments below, but I think it's still gonna make for a great brisket. So we're gonna season, season, season this up, throw it in the fridge to rest, and then here in a few hours, we'll throw it on the smoker and be ready for lunch tomorrow. All right guys, so we got everything all seasoned up with our salt, pepper, and garlic powder on both sides. We have our trim pile of sausage and some little bit of ends that we cut off just to make everything flow better. Uh, this could be used for some really good sausage if I ever had the time to uh, make some. And uh, so we'll put it in the fridge now overnight and about five o'clock in the morning, we're gonna throw it on. All right guys, it's cold out here this morning. So we got the brisket thrown on the smoker and I think it's probably gonna take about five, six hours. And so we'll come back because don't wanna be opening it a bunch because the rule is if you're looking, you ain't cooking. All right guys, so we've been letting this uh, brisket smoke for almost about five hours now. Um, we're gonna take a look see what it looks like has some good bark on it and then uh, we'll probably wrap it up so let's take a look oh yeah has some good bark develop on it it's gonna be looking good so we're gonna take this out and get it wrapped and throw it back on here all right guys the brisket has been wrapped for about 45 minutes we're gonna take it out of the smoker So we're gonna take it out of the smoker, put it in the cooler, and just let it rest. 
for about another 45 minutes. And then we'll carve it up and be ready to eat. All right, guys, we just got it out of the cooler and got it all unwrapped. Now, here's the payoff. Let's see how we did. So with brisket, you always want to cut against the grain. Let's try it out, guys. Has good smoke flavor. The salt and pepper's coming through. Darling, give that a bite. Tastes good? Yes. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, as for the brisket itself, I think it turned out pretty good. You know, um... Becca and the mom and dad, they really enjoyed it, and we ended up just chopping it up and making some good uh, chopped chop brisket sandwiches out of it, so that'd be good. Um, yeah, it was the first time using that smoker, and uh, second time ever really smoking a brisket, so I think we did all right, all things considered. Um, if you have some suggestions or anything I could have done different to get uh, some more bark or render out a little bit more of the fat, leave it in the comments below. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.